Hello guys, welcome to my channel Rahul Automation Studio. So in my last video, I have explained you how you can launch a Chrome browser for your Selenium project. So in this video, I'm going to explain you if you need to launch and to run the test case in i browser. So how you can launch i browser in your Selenium test cases. So first of all, for the to run the test case in i, we have to download the i driver. So just go to the Chrome and search with i driver download once you will search you will find a link for this i driver just open the link on this page you will find that uh, for installing you have to go to the downloads link just go to the downloads and here uh, for the internet explorer driver server you have you can download it for 32 bit 64 bit but recommendable is 32 bit for the windows i because in that case it will be a faster execution and in the send keys text, it will be fast for 32 bits. So it is recommended that you always use 32 bit for Windows I. So once download it from here and after that, add it in your resources folder. You can add in any folder, but it is recommended and it is easily maintainable if you will add under the Java folder resources folder. Just add it in your resources folder. So I have already done it and already have added in my resources folder so our next step is we have to set the property for i driver so we already have one method for launch browser which is we have done for the chrome same method we will be using for i as well so for that what we have to do is we will pass as a string as a browser okay so this line of code we need in both the scenario for both the browsers. So we will add a condition if browser dot equal ignore case is equal to Chrome, right? Then please execute this line of code, right? Else we are going to use as else right so else what we have to do first of all we have to get the system property for it just copy this line paste it here and what is the name for our i driver just copy the file name and paste it so path is same so we have to use just a file name change right so after that so to work and to open an iv browser there must be some settings for it so just open the i so there is some security reasons that you have to do for some settings for it otherwise i browser will launch for you but you will not be able to navigate to any url in it so just go to there go to internet options just go to the security so in the security you can see four options are there internet full intranet trusted sites and restricted sites so this option enable protected mode should be same for all either it should be checked or it should be unchecked right so like that but you can see this is enabled but this is not enabled and this is also not enabled so this kind of settings you have to do it for it but this setting can be anything and uh, we will be set this kind of settings through the code only. Okay, so just click on cancel. Now just come to your browser. So we will do this type of settings with the help of IE driver options class. Internet. This is Internet Explorer driver. This is Internet Explorer option. So we are going to use the options to do this type of settings, right? New Internet Explorer options. Now do this some different settings for it. Options. Dot. Mm -hmm. You have to set the capabilities for it. Just click on Set Capabilities. What we capabilities you have to do is 
or internet. Dot ignore zone setting. So first of all, you have to set it as a ignore the zone settings. Whatever zone setting is there, just please ignore it. So we are going to do this setting options dot set capability. So in the in that we will be adding capability type dot browser version. So in browser version, we have to use set 11. There is one more setting that we have to do. Options dot set capability. In the set capability, that setting that I have shown you that protected uh, some security setting is there. You have to add that setting as a true as you have to ignore it. So you have to use this one. Okay. So you have to set it as a true. Yeah. So, and you have to set it as a true. So this is ignore protected mode setting. So it will ignore whatever setting is there and it will take by default as a all checked or not checked. So you have to set it as a true. So these three settings you have to do, you have to set these three capabilities for I to launch. Otherwise it will not launch a I browser for you. Now you have to initialize the browser driver in this class, this driver equal to new internet explorer driver class. And in this Internet Explorer driver class, you have to pass the options variable. You have to pass the capabilities in it. So it will open this Internet Explorer driver with these options capabilities. And after that, we are launching this driver.getURL with the google.com website. Right? So now you can see this method is giving us error because we have defined a one parameter for our method so you have to pass one variable in it so you have to pass as a string so we will be passing as a i just click on save and now try to run the test case just run it it should be launch i browser for you and it should navigate to the google.com website in your i browser so it is saying some identifier, some, okay, colon is expected. Yeah, just click on save. You have to give as a comma. Okay, yeah, just, let's run it again. So our test case execution has started. So it is giving one more error. The path, the path is not correct. Yeah. Let's see what is the path that we have given. See, we are just using it as a Chrome. We have to use it as a I, right? So webdriver.i.driver and this is webdriver.chrome.driver. So this is why we have done the copy and paste. We should be avoiding it and uh, we should write it manually. Now just retry it again. Okay. So this is how you can debug and you can read the console, what kind of the error is there and you can resolve it by yourself. So it is opening the IE browser for us. And it has successfully launched this google.com website in our IE browser. So this is how and test case has been passed. So like this, you can navigate and open the test case and run the test case in your IE browser. So thank you guys. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and share with your friends. Thank you guys. Bye.